All right, ladies and gentlemen, so a lot of people asked about my build, my point guard build, what I've been doing. Look, I'm trash as hell with this guy, and I can get buckets with him. So if I can get buckets with him, I know you should be able to use my build, man. Um, I'm not going to waste a lot of you guys' time. We're just going to get right into it. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, trash playmaker, you know, y'all want to know the bill. I got to get it to you, right? Cash. Get in the damn hole. Anyway. Let's just get right into it, man. All right, check it out the store. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam, bang, bang, bang. Here we go, man. This is what I did. I know it's all that percentage off. This is where we are right now. Uh, shooting off the dribble, I didn't touch. And now I'll, I'll show y'all why in a minute. A lot of people probably thinking, you know, you got to you gotta have shooting off the dribble. You you don't. You you really don't. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Um, it was to start out. Eventually, I'm going to put it up right, but... Just not right now. I don't even know how many bars go in there. Let me go in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like 13, 14, like 14 bars. So if I put that up, leave my mid range jumper where it is, uh, leave dunks and layups where they are because they only go. I'm just kind of looking right now. Um, that would get me to a 60 shot close. I don't care about that. Dunks and layups. Yeah, I'm not going to put anything else in Dawson Lake. We're, we're going to go down the list. Anyway, uh, the number of bars, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you get 13 bars right there. Um, so I got 13 bars to put in there. I think you get like 20, 25 more or something like that. So if I get 25 more bars, then I can max out that or put it up as high as I want to. And then I, I still got, I still have room for rebounding and strength. I am probably going to max out rebounding and strength um, because that's 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 the way that I like to play. Uh, all right, so just going down the list. Right now we've got uh, 80, 80 uh, standing layup, uh, 80 driving layup, uh, 60 standing dunk, 70 driving dunk. So it looks like I probably need to lay the ball up more than I dunk it. But it's just like it just seems like dunking is is just such a is such a a a sure shot if you can get it off now there's no point i feel like there's no point in me putting anything else in anything else because that would leave me with like an 83 uh standing layup and i, I don't care about that 80 80 you probably not gonna get blocked so it is what it is mid-range shooting i am probably truthfully going to leave my mid-range shot uh at 71 just because i feel like it's, it's there's really no point and me going be above 70. I'm hitting it just fine with 70. I mean, I am splashed. I very rarely miss a mid-range shot with it at 71. I don't know what it goes up to. It may go up to something like an 85, but I mean, that's 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 literally no point in me putting it any higher than that. I trust me. Y'all see me on stream. I, I hit just about everything uh, mid-range, and they don't let you miss mid-ranges in this game anyway. I got a video on that tomorrow. Uh, contested three. Uh, I'm leaving it at 70. I won't I won't put anything else in in that. And um, agility, uh, I'm going to leave it where it is because, ooh, I get more vertical. We may add that last point to agility because it puts my vertical at a 90. And that may actually work. Uh, that may actually help some. So when we get down to the end, we may put a point in the last point in agility because, you know, I like for it to be round numbers. Acceleration will be 85, so I think that'll be good. Speed will be 91, but the other two will be round numbers, so they'll be uh, it'll be 85 and 90. So I probably will do that i just don't want to do it right away and um and uh and, and regret it later because you can't it's not like mass effect where you can respect a character once you see what's going on 2k when once you once you put it on you just stuck um i may end up putting some points of strength and rebounding so we're gonna we're gonna see where those cap out i don't know where they cap out uh but we'll see uh rebounding i may end up putting some in there i mean you put three points and rebound it goes to 50 so um, I think that may cap out at like 60. So we'll probably end up putting like like six points right here. I mean, you know, uh, six points here, six points here. Uh, I mean, because it goes to like 50 or whatever. I won't put anything else in playmaking because that 94 across the board, I just don't feel like it's, I just don't feel like it's worth it. Now, for lateral quickness and, uh, and my defense, I maxed that out just because I, I really, really probably should have left everything at 70. But... I'm not leaving anything to chance with defense. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my blocking is is, is 68, um, but I block shots like I like like I got 70 shot blocking or something like that. So 
while I feel like in some categories, those extra ones or twos or anything below a five really doesn't change, you know, what you're doing. I mean, your 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 chances to do something better a, a lot. Uh, defense, if I could have got 70 lateral quickness, that would have been great, but it is what it is. Um, defense, I just feel like is one of those categories where every tick helps. So I always max out my defense. In retrospect, I probably could have just left it all at a flat 70 and it would have been cool, but I, I kind of struggled with that. But anyway, like I said, playmaking and ball control, uh, 94, I'm not going to do that. Um, and I couldn't make it be 90 even, because if I could have, I would have. It was either 89 or 90. Um, rebounding, like I said, we're probably going to go up on rebounding and strength. And then uh, we're not going to mess with mid-range. We're going to leave mid-range and three-pointer where it is. Uh, layups and dunks, we will probably leave it where it is because it's it's already at a good round number. And uh, contact dunks, I, I don't think they're going to let me do contact dunks anyway. So it's at a good round number. We're going to leave where it is. And uh, off dribble shooting is probably what we're going to put up. Um, but that'll probably, I, that, that will be the last thing that, um, that we put up and I'll show you why, uh, before we show you the dribble moves. I'm going to show you why, because I don't shoot off the dribble a lot. I don't even feel like there's a need for a player to shoot off the dribble. I don't because look, this counts, this shot, right? Okay. You see when you, when you run and stop, I mean, for shot close, I guess it'll help, but I don't miss shot. I don't miss close shots anyway. But I'll probably do that to 72. But look, that counts as a set shot. The step backs and all of those, those are those count as set shots. And you can tell because look, look, when I'm running, you see the little smiley face is a little smaller, right? Now watch. When I do the step back, it goes to it goes like that's a set shot. So your if you're a playmaker, you may think that you need shot off the dribble uh more, but these a lot of the moves that you do as a playmaker, they kind of set shots. That's why you can get away with uh, without shooting off the dribble. When you do this in speed boost and you come right here and stop, that's an ordinary shot. It's not That's not one of my hot spots, so that's why I didn't show up like that. But I mean, having my hot spots, like when I go right here and stop and pull up, that's a set shot. The game sees it as that. Or when I do, when I do this right here and hit them with the step back, the game sees that as a set shot. It doesn't see it as a moving shot. The only thing that, they, that it sees as a moving shot is, is when you're actually moving when you shoot it. So, so again, your moving shot does not have to be that high. So all the little moves like that, when you do the step back and all of that, all of those are, all of those are set shots. So that's why you can get away with, with, uh, not, with not putting a uh, shot off the dribble up because these are set shots, boom. So that's a little tip that you probably didn't know, uh, but you know, we got to get on with the video anyway, man. Um, and then I'll just show you my dribble moves and all my other inventory and we should be good to go. So check it out, inventory, um, pro-am animations. Uh, you know my shot is Paul George, everybody knows. That shot is gonna be that all the time, shot is Paul George. All this other stuff, man, I just left it alone because I don't, I don't care about that. Uh, pro hop, uh, post hop, what, what is it, uh, post hop or whatever? Somebody probably should um, tell me which one of those to use because I don't. I mean, I, I have no no clue which one which one of those is the best celebration. Nobody cares about dunks and layups. Really standard under the basket. Regular ones. I had the cockbacks, rim pulls. Man, they get blocked so much. It's no point. So I went back to my normal unblockable dunks. Um, you know, straight up under the basket. Uh, basic one. Basic uh, two hands off of one. I might need to take that away. I, I don't know. Uh, Tomahawk cockbacks off one, and then uh, baseline reverse. That's that's one of my that's my one of my favorite dunks. And then the dribble moves, uh, ISO crossover, elite six. Oh, pretty much all the stuff that Brutus Sim, but it's a modified version. Uh, behind the back, normal four. So I think the same one everybody uses. Um, ISO spin, elite six. Now normal hesitation one. Kimball Walker rhythm, rhythm dribble. Uh, basic size up. Uh, basic size of normal four, elite two from the inside out. Uh, this is where I didn't go with Brutus Sim because I like the stuff. I like the Chris Paul crossover. That's been one of my favorite things ever since I see I seen Red City Boy doing it. Um, I, I always felt like that's that's just a good one. Uh, between the legs, you know, we did we did Steph Curry and behind the back size up, we did uh, Steph Curry. And I think that is really everything that anybody would have any questions on. So.
Um, I never used the behind the back, um, the behind the back size up, but I guess if I guess it would really would work if you uh, if you do it with the uh, Chris Paul. But like I, I just like using the Chris Paul, and um, yeah, that actually probably would work. But um, I just like using the Chris Paul because it really has people thinking sometimes. I mean, and when he does that, you can either cross over or you can. You know, you can spin out of it or you can, let me see what I want to do. I want to go the same way. So, or you can just speed boost out of it if you do it at the right time. So it's got to be like boom, boom, and then you got to go. Or boom, 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 and then you can go ahead and go. You don't have to do it. It's best, it's most, it's most effective when you use that and probably go behind the back or something because you just get to do it in one, one complete dribble. So boom, boom, and then you get to, uh, hold on. It's boom, boom, and then there you go. So you can just go on by him or, or whatever. And then, like I said, I like the Kimball Walker because, because you can, you can, uh, let me show, let me show you what I like to do. You can do this, do that, do that. And then when you get them in the rhythm, you get, you hit them with that little crossover and then you just go to the baseline. And obviously my favorite move is to, is to go through the legs, take off, and hit him with the Swante. Go under the bucket, hold L, wait, and then go up. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm, I'm super basic when it comes to this stuff, man. So, so, uh, you know, just bear with me. I'm gonna get better. But if you're building your guard, you can build them like this, man. Uh, you don't have to max out your mid range, dog. Like you get a nice big smiley face with 70 and your hot spot. So you don't have to max out your mid range. Leave it at 70. Use those points for something else. Be a bully. Be stronger. Be a bully, whatever. I'm hoping I can get his rebounding up to like 60. I don't know what it maxes out at. I have to go on the little NBA site. But, dog, trust me. You don't need anything more than 70. If you got 70 in your hot spots, you should be able to hit threes. You should be able to hit all the twos if you know your jump shot. Don't waste those points going up to 85 on that mid-range. You don't need it. I'm not going to put it up any higher than this. My lockdown defender has 70 shot. And, uh, you know, 70 from the corner three, that's going to be cash. 70 from the top, really, really 70 anywhere, you're going to be able to you're gonna be able to hit with consistency. So even when you're coming down and you do that, that's a that's a set shot. I missed the motherfucker, but it's a set shot. It counts as a set shot. Um, Y'all probably see me do that a lot when I'm doing it. So that's why I'm saying don't waste those points initially off of, yeah. See how that's a set shot? Don't waste those points initially off of the moving shot because you don't need it. And if you're taking the moving shot, you're probably taking a bad shot anyway, and you probably want to pass out of it. But you know, it is what it is. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped somebody out, man. It's already been too damn long. Um, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! I'm gonna grind this guy out, and uh, we're gonna get him maxed out by the weekend, man. Uh, and and then then we're gonna see what he really can do, and what my uh, what my what just just everything that we can do. But I'm probably really gonna put that last point in athleticism because that 90 vertical and 85 acceleration are really really intriguing to me. But I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>